I think a red flag that's not talked about enough is men who boohoo cry at their weddings. Why are you crying that hard? Now we can't cry at our weddings. Now we can't be happy. I got a comment under one of my videos the other day, and the dude told me that I don't like women. Because all my videos seem to be bashing women, which is not true. Because on countless videos, I tell y'all that these people that we see on the internet do not represent all women. So I'm pretty sure he just be reading the titles, or he might see one one clip, and he don't re watch the whole videos. But what I'm going to say is, listen, these clips do not represent all women. They say that a lot of times they overcompensate because they don't even really like women. Sometimes they just like men. I saw like a couple gay guys say that a number one um, indicator that a man might be DL is when he's just having all like these women having sex back to back. Like he can't find this, his soulmate and they will just dog every woman that they're with and be overly promiscuous and be a hoe and never find their soulmate because their soulmate is a man. You're hiding something, you're gay. Oh, snap. <laughs> hey. We're not going to sit here and act like she all the way wrong because she's not all the way wrong. There's an unhealthy level of chasing. And I feel as though dudes who chase at that level are compensating for something. Now, I'm not going to sit here and be like, Every dude that's chasing cat is trying to hide the fact that he crossing the street. We not gonna do that. I use myself as an example. You know, it's it's all about being honest on this channel. It's all about being honest. When I was out here in these streets, I was trying to compensate for my early childhood. Like I didn't know that girls found me attractive until eighth grade. Being honest with you, cause these used to make me feel like I was the worst thing walking. I remember in fifth grade, dog. These folks was playing spin the bottle. And the bitch said, if he's playing, I'm not playing. Kick me out the circle of spin the bottle. Cause the bitch said if he playing, then I'm not playing. A few years later, I ran into that heifer. And guess what? Yo, yo. You just hit my car? You just hit my car? No, I tapped it. Just to say, don't stop right there. You stop right in the sidewalk. It's a tap. Bro, don't, bro, don't do that to my car, bro. What's wrong with you, bro? It's a way of talking to you. Don't stop in the middle of the sidewalk. Hi. Yo. This ain't, this ain't real, is it? What's that? Is this real? You have a is gun? This really Are you really going to take out a gun and shoot me now? Is this really happening? Yeah. I'm talking to you like an adult. One adult talk. Oh, that's new to you. Okay. Shoot green. Alright, bro. Yo! Yo! Yo, he politely disrespected him. He proceeded to touch the car. Then asked him, do you have a gun? Are you going to shoot me? He tested your gangster. People like that, you cannot win an argument with. You might as well just leave him alone. <laughs> I deserve so much better. Because we, every single person here knows that you were trying to talk to some girl named Demi. <laughs> that about being friends with benefits. Like literally all of us have seen screenshots and screen recordings of everything you sent her, especially within the past few days, and how you were texting her and sending her videos. You literally sent her the same picture you sent me today. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, so in case you didn't figure it out, we're over <laughs> and you can get the fuck out. Get the fuck out! <laughs> get out! Throughout this whole video, I was looking at my other man's sitting at the table. So let me ask you a question. If you're dating a girl and her sister catches her man cheating and her sister decides that she's going to throw a exposed party and your girlfriend invites you, are you going? Are you going to be a part of the exposed committee? Or are you going to mind your business? Because you don't even have to give them a heads up. You could just mind your business. Me, personally, I wouldn't be going to this. I wouldn't be going to this. I'm not... She said everybody here knows about the messages you've been sending. So she threw you under the bus, too. So you... You <laughs> you part of the exposed committee. You're supposed to stand on business. You're supposed to tell your girl, Hey, listen, that's none of our business. Let them handle that on their own. 
Personally, I would tell my girl she not going neither. Because you just never know how a nigga would react to being embarrassed. That's that's my take. But at the end of the day, cheating is wrong. Don't do it. It's not worth it. A lot of times, the people you cheat with, the grass is never green on the other side. I'm going to give you a few signs that you just may be a part of a rotation. If We're all part of a rotation. If you never talk to the person that you're in a relationship with after 7 or 8 p.m. at night, nine times out of ten, you're not the only one. If for some reason the person that you're in a relationship with always seems to be out walking the dog or they're always out and about when they're talking to you but they never talk to you while they're in the house, nine times out of ten they probably live with somebody else or once again you are a part of a rotation. If you are dealing with somebody and you just can't come to their house and go and please as you want to, nine times out of ten you are probably sharing this person. i add one. This is a simple one that people probably look over but... If you are talking to somebody and you can never get in contact with them when you want to get in contact with them, meaning that they never pick up the phone when you call, they always have to call you back, there's a chance that you're sharing them with somebody. <laughs> Your phone keeps buzzing. Can you check it for me? I'm putting dishes away. You want me to check your phone for you? Yeah, my passcode is 3457. Who is it? Um, it's just Evan. He wants to see if you want to hang out this weekend. Hold on. Tell him I'm busy. I'm going to be hanging out with you. Wait, what? <laughs> I ain't going to say too much because I'm married. But that, that woman is built like a superhero. Sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one is trying to help me. It's but why should they? I wouldn't help would your ass neither. To? After all, women have been telling men over and over again to leave them alone. Women are independent. They don't need men. And now some are complaining when men are actually listening to them. Preach. They don't make real men anymore. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not all men because there are good men out there. That's a very good point. There are good men out there. As a woman, like you don't see men holding doors anymore. They don't help anymore. No. They rush and sit down on trains and buses before women and pregnant women and elderly are sitting down. It's just a hot mess out here. But this really shouldn't come as a surprise. After all, isn't this what some women wanted? Mm -hmm. What modern feminism was pushing for? Church. For women to be treated as equals to men. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. No special treatment needed. No need to hold open a door. Why help out? Women can do everything themselves just as good as men can. Yeah. But now it seems some are complaining that they got exactly what they asked for. Sitting up here. She she said a mouthful. I don't even know where I can go. All I all I'm gonna say is, man, men are tired of being embarrassed. It's like every little thing a dude does is put under a microscope. So if I open the door for you. Instead of saying thank you, you're going to treat me. You're going to treat me like a creep. Now, I'm saying that from personal experience. If I offer you to help you with something, because I notice you lifting something, you're going to treat me like a creep. I'm going to give you all an example. I've been working out at the gym. I have a gym over here close to my house, 24 hours or whatever. All right, so the other night a chick was in there. And I feel bad about this, but then I don't feel bad because, you know, it, it really wasn't that serious. But there's only two Stairmasters in that gym, and that's my go-to workout. I do 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. I might do 50 to 100 push-ups, and then that's it for the night for me. This is my first week, so, you know, I'm taking this, I'm taking this slow. One of the Stairmasters wasn't working the other night, so I got on there, saw that it wasn't working, I went to the other one. This young lady came in. Now, immediately when she, I'm not going to lie, she had, she had the cheeks. She had the cheeks. I'm a man, so I'm going to see these things. Okay? She had the cheeks. She knew she had the cheeks. She paraded her wagon around the whole gym, scoped out to see who was looking and this, that, and the third. I'm When I'm on the Stairmaster, I... You know what I'm saying? I keep my head down. Specifically for that reason also, bro, because I don't like making eye contact with people at the gym. So I keep my head down or I might watch TV or, you know? I just happen to look up and me and her made eye contact. And already she had the... Right? So I'm like, alright. 
back on the stairmaster. She proceeded to walk around to come to the stairmaster that's right next to me. Now, I could have told her that the stairmaster didn't work. I could have told her that. Save her the trip, save her the trouble. But at the same time, I didn't want to be labeled a creep who was trying to spark up a conversation out of nowhere. So I mind my business. And she was there for about 10, 15 minutes trying to make that motherfucker work. And the whole time, I just treated treated her like she wasn't there. I just mind my business. Hey, it be like that sometimes, man.